Hi guys, it's Ann Sherling here. So today I'm going to do a, a quick tutorial video on how you can create some really cool autoresponder uh, capture pages with your um, your videos embedded using uh, Wix.com. And Wix, as you probably know, is a free website. So let me just jump right into it here with you. So what you want to do is just go over to Wix.com and you want to go ahead and create an account. I've already created one so I'll just sign in here. And put my password in. Okay. So we are logging in. Okay, so once you're logged into your Wix um, account, go over here to the plus page and click on that okay and it's gonna ask you what kind of website do you want to create you want to click on business and then you have two options you can start with a Wix ADI or a Wix editor go ahead and click on Wix editor alright then it's gonna ask what kind of business uh, website template do you want to choose go ahead and over, go over here click on blank templates okay then right here here's the blank template you want to go ahead and click on edit and it's gonna load it so it'll take it just a couple seconds here all right <clears throat> so it opens up a blank template for you here so this is really easy to do once you uh, do this once or twice you're gonna really um, remember how to do it it's real simple so what you want to do to start is you want to come over here and click on the add button okay and the first thing that you want to add is text so it's already highlighted here and just go down here and let's we're gonna be creating the title on your your page so go ahead and let's click on huge title okay it's gonna bring up a little bar here so we can create our title so I'm just dragging it up to the top of our page because this is actually our page right here okay so click on edit text and it'll highlight this so in here is what you're gonna um, create your title to be so um, in this case I'm just gonna do um, I'll just say check out my $3,000 day okay and then you can click on it okay um, left click on it and then here you have the little areas that you can drag your title over and you can make it as big as you want you can resize it so I'm gonna make it about like that and you can position it right in the center okay Let's make it like that okay so the title is done all right so now we're gonna go back over to add click on add and here we're gonna come down and we're gonna select video so click on video and then go right over here let's go back there click on video and over here you're gonna click on YouTube because that is probably where your video is going to be uh, found that's where my video is or whatever video I want to use okay so let's go ahead and just drag the video image down here well we're obviously not going to use this video so we want to change it so let's go ahead and click on change video okay and then right over here uh, we're gonna click on search video it's gonna open but open a new box and right here you just want to type in the search phrase um, perhaps the name of the video on YouTube that you're looking for so uh, for this one I'm doing a um, a page for my business so I'm just gonna search big profit system and I'll just put my name in here because it's a video that I did and I'm gonna go ahead and click search and here it brings up all my videos uh, for big profit system and the one I want to use today is this one so I'll just click on it and click add alright so now it went ahead and added my video here 
So the next thing you want to do is right here, you want to click this minus button so that it's now checked. And that makes it so that the video will autoplay as soon as someone loads your, your page, as soon as your page is opened. Okay? And so that's all we need right here. So we can just come down and just kind of move the video around a little bit, kind of center it. All right. Okay, then the next and last thing we're going to do, go back over to Add <clears throat> and click on the plus again. Okay, this time we're going to go down to the button and we're going to select a button that we, we want to use. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one here. Okay, and so this one, we can drag the button down below the video. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and change the text because right now it just says button. So let's go ahead and click change text. And right here, you can add what you want the button to say. So I'm just going to say click here for more info. Okay, and then the other thing that you want to do, is, which is really important, you want your button to have a link to take your prospect to your website. So right here where it says add a link, let's go ahead and click on that. And you want to go ahead and make sure you click web address. And then right here uh, where it says what's the web address URL, this is where you're going to paste in the URL address of the website that you want to take your prospect to. So in my case, I'm actually taking the, them over to my Big Profit System website. Um, so I'm just going to, I logged into my BPS back office here and I'm just grabbing my, um, my main sales page um, link because that's what I want to send people over to. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste my link right here. And you want to make sure it's always clicked on New Window and then go ahead and click done. Okay, so that part is done. Now the other thing we want to do, this button is all scrunchy looking, so uh, again you go ahead and you can click and drag the button to make it as big as you want it. So let's go ahead and drag it like that. Um, and then we can also drag it down a little bit further. So we'll make it like about right here. And then let's go ahead and um, make the type bigger. So let's go up here and click on the pen where it says design. Click on that. Okay. And it's going to open up a button design page. So you can here you can just go down and click, uh, select all the different options that you want. Um, I'm going to just click on customize design. And then I am going to click on text and then I'm going to go down here where it says font size and here you see you can make the font size in your button bigger or smaller so let's just make the button let's make it about let's make it about that big okay and let's drag that back over resize our button a little bit more Okay. All right. So there we go. All right. Then the next thing that we want to do, I mean, you could stop right here and just have your your page just look like this. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make your um, the page look even more customized and look really cool. So the next thing you want to do is go over here to this button here. It says background. Click on that. And here we're going to add an image to the background um, instead of having this white border. So let's go ahead and click on image. And here you can go to your, um, your computer and you can select a photo off of your uh, computer if you want to. It's taking a little while to open here. taking a long time to open here. My internet must be kind of slow right now. So I am not sure what it's doing. Okay, let's go ahead and just click upload image. So let's go over here and we're going to just scroll down here and let's just pick a photo. Alright, 
and it's going to go ahead and upload that photo. Click done. All right, so here's some photos um, that I have used previously, and this is the one I just uploaded. So I want to use this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. All right. We could X out of that. So you see it added it as my background here on my page. That's really cool looking. Okay. And the other thing we want to do, we want to change this white border to something a little nicer. So let's go up here to page, hover on page there, click on it, and then we're going to click change page design. So we're going to click on that. And here if we just scroll down here we have all these different colors that we can choose so I'm going to select this tan one alright okay so there we have so now we have the custom photo in the background we have the tan uh, border here let's remove this a little bit that looks kind of funky resize that and you can you can drag all this stuff down too Oops. You can drag this. Oh, that's acting kind of weird. There we go. That's what I wanted. And just you know, position things around here. Okay, let's put that right here. Okay, so there we have it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save all of our work. And here you just need to add an extension title to your link. So I'm just going to call this uh, my $3,000 day. Click Save and Continue. Okay, so there it is. So now we're, we're going to um, go ahead and we're going to preview the page to make sure everything works before we publish it. So go up here and just click on Preview. Okay, so you can see the video starts playing right away. Okay, so the video is working. We can click on our button here and we can see it opens up a new page and takes the person over to the website that you want to take them to. So that works. All right, so we know it all works. It looks good it's the way we want it to look. So let's go here and go back to editor and now let's just go ahead and publish our page so now it's published and here is our uh, link to our page and here we can just click view site and it opens up the page again for us to view okay and here is the URL that you're going to use to to send out to people. So you can embed that link in your blogs. You can also embed it in your Aweber autorespond uh, messages that go out. And that's what I use this platform for. So um, it works great. So if you, you can, again, you can just open up a new page, paste and go, and there's your page. Okay. Very cool. So what I'm going to do um, in the next video, because I don't want to make this video too long, in the next video I'm going to show you how to take this link and actually go over to Aweber and drop it in to your um, autorespond messages and uh, that way people that are in your autoresponder right now for your current business you can give them updates um, on whatever business, uh, whatever um, income testimonials that you have or whatever um, updates you want to give them but this video is basically just to show you how go back over here how to create a, uh, a really cool looking page using Wix.com and again it's a free free site so it's really fun to use and there's a lot more you can do with this site too but um, I think you'll like doing this so anyway hope this was helpful uh, if you enjoyed this if you got some value out of this go ahead and give me a thumbs up on my YouTube video here and uh, I will go ahead and do another video for you in the next couple days on how to um, add this into your Aweber autoresponder okay so that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed it see you next time take care